Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with the Paranormal Pantivity Project Pan update. Of course, I stuttered as I said that. Uh, this is being done in conjunction with the Fantastic Ladies. I will link the Facebook group down below. It was created by Andrea or Produce a Peacock, who will also be linked down below. This is a project. This is a rolling project pan. It's based off of more paranormal prompts. It is started on September 24th, 2022, and goes until the next September 24th. It is National Ghost Hunting Day, which is why that date was picked. Uh, I don't officially have any empties this update. I had one that was like one use away from being done, but I went ahead and rolled in the prompt last update. But I did finish it. It was for Banshee, close to finishing. It was the Maybelline Color Tattoo Stick. It is now all used up. I could dig in there, but I don't want to. <laughs> so I don't really like digging in the products unless they're something I'm absolutely in love with. And that is not something I am absolutely in love with. This is where I keep my empties for this project pan in case you were wondering where I was putting it. But because I rolled in something for that last time, like I said, I'm not rolling anything in this time. I was tempted to roll something in anyway, just because I could, but I'm about to start a different project pan, so I decided not to. But let's start from the top. Uh, everything at least does have progress this update, which is always good. Including the first one, Afterlife, something that's past its expiration date, I did start using the Biro toner. Uh, just a little bit because I am mixing it, well, not mixing it, but I am swapping different days with a different toner and this is thick, so it doesn't go super fast, but I did use it. Um, the other toner that I'm switching it with is almost done. I might stop using this for the rest of this month to just go ahead and get that one finished. So, but once I do finish it, whether it's at the end, by the end of this month or the beginning of next month, I will be able to devote every day to that toner, which is a good thing. Next is Domovic, something that follows you around from house to house. I chose the Too Faced Eyeshadow in Solitude because it is a single Too Faced Eyeshadow, which shows how old it is. I am trying to hit pan. I wore it once today. Uh, the well is getting deep, but no pan as of yet. I don't know how deep this goes. I hope it doesn't go much deeper. But I guess we shall see. Next is Revenant, something that comes back, has been repurchased. I chose the Tree Hut Coconut Lime Post Shave Soothingness. If I would remember to use this every time, it would go a lot quicker, but I, I am forgetful. But th those are my progress marks. Um, yeah, if I was a little bit better about using this, I would go through it a lot quicker, but I'm forgetful, which is why I put it under Project Pans in the first place, because despite how much I love it, I am forgetful. And it's just, it is admittedly an extra step. Next is Tower of London, something that makes you want to lose your head, either good or bad. I chose good because I really like this highlighter. It is the Ofra highlighter in Space Baby. I wanted to use it 10 times. I have used it today under my glasses, of course. Uh, I have used it twice since the last update, so I'm up to four out of 10 uses. This should not be the slow going, but I'm it is kind of annoying, honestly. A lot of my focus is on the highlighter that is in my uh, This is Fantasy Project Pan because I have work, been working on that for over a year. That is the issue. So I only use that very rarely. <laughs> Sad but true. Next is Ghost, something with unfinished business or something you could not finish. I chose the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Psychedelic Sister. Here's what it looked like last time. And so that I don't spoil my project pan, not my project pan, so that I don't spoil my pan that palette update at all, because people don't like spoilers apparently, this is what it looks like now. I have used it twice. It's just a little, little bit around the outer ring. <sighs> I really need to just like use this, you know, five or six times and it would probably be done. <laughs> but I just don't. I spread my love all around to my eyeshadows so nothing gets a huge amount of usage, apparently. And finally, something I should have finished for this update, but I ended up working on something else instead. For a white lady, a white product, I chose the uh, Body and Earth Coconut Body Wash. I don't want to tip this the other way because this is kind of thick and it takes a while to get around anyway, but I started with it brand new at the top. 
Now it is probably about down to here, maybe a little bit higher, right here. So this will definitely be finished by next update. I should really work hard on one of these original products in here, like the Ofra Space Baby or the Too Faced Eyeshadow in Solitude to get them knocked out. We'll see if that happens, but that is it. Short but sweet. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!